Okay, hi everyone. This is Ron McKinney and Beth McKinney with Padada. Hello. We just want to welcome you uh, to uh, to this uh, very first webinar for our dancers for our Bright Lights Big City Conference next summer. It's really great to see so many of you here. Thank you for your interest and support. And um, I think you're going to learn a lot tonight and enjoy getting to know your creative directors. Uh, just a little bit about Pata Da and like why we created it. Um, we, uh, you know, I've been a dance photographer since uh, like 2008. And back then, you know, uh, dance photographers didn't really talk. And, um, you know, and that was just at the start of the Instagram era. So, so um, you know, dance photography was just beginning to get popular. And I've just always felt like there was a need for there to be a dance photography community and for the photographers to get a little bit more educated because many of them didn't know how to work with dancers. They just knew that they liked to take pictures of them. And uh, and so we, we just decided to create this group and uh, and have these educational conferences and webinars and, and uh, workshops so uh, more photographers can work with dancers more creatively and safely. Absolutely. The mission of Pata da Photo is to in, elevate dance photography. And we do that really through community and through education. So we want to bring all of um, these dance photographers together and the dancers who come to the conference. We want you to have an amazing experience too. And uh, lastly, before we turn things over to our creative directors, uh, we're just going to introduce ourselves again. Um, this is Ron and Beth. We own a a, a, a photography studio in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. And uh, like I said earlier, I've been shooting dance since 2008. And uh, it's obviously one of my favorite things to do. That's, there you go. Um, in addition to being business owners, um, in the past, we worked um, a great deal um, as part of the executive board for the Phoenix Film Festival. And I have to always give that organization credit for inspiring us. Um, we watched how that organization started as a small two or three day film festival and grew over the years. And, and we have that same aspiration for Pata da Photo. Um, in addition to being business owners and being part of Pata da Photo, um, I actually work as an educator. Um, I have a degree in school counseling, English education, and school administration. Welcome. Hey, everybody. We are your creative directors. I am Miss Jessica, Miss Alexa, and Miss Gwen. And we have a presentation for you today, and we are going to get that turned on. Before we do, um, if you if your full name is not your um, listed, please put the dancer's first and last name so that we can take attendance and see who's joined us today. So I'm going to get that started. I'm going to share my screen. All right. All right, so welcome to our Pata da Photo family. Um, like we said, we are your creative directors and we're really excited that you're here. Beth and Ron already talked about what Pata da Photo is and why they started it. And this is their mission. And Beth is gonna talk about the mission of Pata da. There we go. So our mission is to elevate dance photography. We like to do that when we're sharing images online, when we're bringing dance photographers together to learn things, and when we're building community. So the conference is really a centerpiece of that mission because it is um, an exciting three days of people having fun, creating art, and learning together. You there already? Are. Yep, there you are. I've had the pleasure of meeting them. This is us. I am, my name is Jessica Garrett. I am the artistic director and owner of Dynamic Perception Dance Company. That's where we are tonight. We still have classes going tonight and rehearsals, so sorry for any noise. Um, I grew up in Illinois. I graduated with my degree in dance choreography and teaching from Columbia College, Chicago. Um, I have known 
Beth and Ron for, I think, eight years, nine years. Um, he's been shooting all of our dancers. Uh, we have been the creative directors from the beginning. Um, and that's me. Hi, everyone. My name is Miss Alexa. And um, I have been dancing my entire life. I received my education from Texas Christian University and got a BFA there in ballet and modern dance. Um, I am certified in progressing ballet technique. Um, I do all of the ballet program at Dynamic Perception Dance Company and um, here in the Chicagoland area. And um, I've moved all around the states and um, grew up in Georgia, went to school in Texas, came here. So it's been a fun experience with Potata Photo, getting to kind of like travel around and see dancers in different areas and and uh, be part of this community, so. And I'm Miss Gwen. I graduated from Oklahoma City University with a Bachelor's of Science in American Dance Pedagogy. Before I went to school in Oklahoma, I grew up in Northern New Hampshire. And so being at Potida, it's really awesome to see dancers from all over the country um, and willing to travel to be able to pursue their dreams in dance. I work at Dynamic Perception Dance Company, and this is my seventh season here. And I'm also Rhythm Works certified. I am also Acrobatic Arts certified. Um, we all hold a lot of certifications. So the dancer experience at Potted Photo is really based around three things in our opinion. It's education for the dancers, as well as the photographers, obviously. It's about building community and of course, modeling. Okay, so the first part of that is education. Um, and so, at Pot Enough Photo, we're very committed to um, providing dancers with an educational experience. Obviously, the photographers attend the conference to um, widen their range of education about dance photography specifically, but we want all of our models to also have an educational experience. So we offer classes and seminars that are only for dancers. Um, we're very excited to offer those. We offer different types of movement classes, seminars based on off of posing, um, healthy habits, uh, mental health, all different varieties of things. And we're very excited to do that. Um, we hope that every dancer that attends the Potida Photo Conference um, walks away feeling like they learned something, that they had a really valuable educational experience. Oops, there we go. Next is community. So at Potida Photo, we are committed to building a community of dancers. So throughout the schedule, dancers have meet and greets, parties and gatherings, and it's a big part about the Pata de Photo experience. There's a welcome reception, some dancer chats within the schedule, as well as a dancer farewell, farewell and an optional gala. My goodness, I keep switching. Um, and of course, there's modeling. So all of the dancers that are accepted as a Potida Photo dancer are models for the conference. You will be given a full modeling schedule that we will give to you one to two weeks before the conference. Um, this schedule is created with your safety in mind as a dancer, um, as well as the needs of our conference. Your final schedule will be given to you when you arrive to check in with us. And after that point, nothing will change. You'll get it, like I said, one to two weeks before. Um, in between that time period and the final, um, it may change slightly, but generally not very much. So there's uh, several different kinds of photo shoots that you'll do while you're at the conference. Um, we have studio setups. There are presenter classes, presenter-led photo walks, personal photo walks, and dancers on deck which we're gonna talk about all of those things. Okay, so the first type of modeling opportunity that's offered is studio setup. So studio setups are stationary backdrops. It's something that many of you might be familiar with, even just from taking photos um, with your studio or company. Um, so these are backdrops that you will be stationed at for a period of time, and photographers sign up for time slots to come and take photos of the dancers that are there during that time slot. Um, 
Um, so these might be different colors or have different vibes to them. So we'll talk about um, clothing a little bit later, but bring a lot of options. These are a fun indoor setup that you have the opportunity to participate in, should it be on your schedule. Um, the next opportunity is being in a presenter class. Um, so obviously there are a bunch of classes going on for the photographers to take within those classes in order to provide them with the best education about certain topics. Sometimes they need dancers as example to use as examples in the class to show what they're talking about or how to do a certain thing. So um, not everyone gets assigned to presenter classes um, within the schedule, but that might be an opportunity that you have. Um, and in that case, you would want to show up to the class a little bit early, talk with the presenter, see what it's all about. Um, and then you will be there to um, just assist them with their class. Some class topics might um, have a bunch of different shots or modeling in it. Some might be limited because please remember that a presenter class is about the education of the photographers and not necessarily about you getting a ton of pictures. So different topics might allow for different amounts of photos to be taken during that time. Oh my goodness, I just jumped all over the place. Uh, all right, so there are two kinds of photo walks. There is a presenter-led photo walk and a personal. First, I'm gonna talk about the presenter-led. So like Miss Alexa said, there are different presenters presenting classes on different topics and such. So that would be a photo walk where one of the presenters of the conference is going to take some of the attendees and some models on a walk. You're going to go maybe to the city, maybe it's going to be somewhere um, in the hotel, you never know, and you just kind of go and you, they take photos, and that is definitely a time when it's not only the presenter taking photos, but the attendees as well. Um, it, this is always done with uh, multiple models, it's never alone, uh, and there's always one of our volunteers will be with you at those as well. The personal photo walks are definitely totally different um, going into this year's conference. So attendees will have the opportunity to sign up to practice what they've been learning in classes, right? They're so excited to try to learn what they've used or they actually have the opportunity to rent equipment to see if they like it, to see if they would like to buy it from some of the vendors, which is pretty cool. And they wanna try to use that. So they sign up for personal photo walks. So this year, what's gonna happen is that let's say it's 10, I don't remember the numbers, the 10 uh, attendees sign up and there are um, about 10 dancers and us. It's one creative director, one mentor, and one volunteer. There's two to three uh, potted photo staff members at all times. And we will go to a predetermined location. So we're in Chicago, so maybe we're going to go to Grant Park. And that is already set up be before they sign up. So they sign up knowing we're going to Grant Park. Um, nobody is leaving Grant Park. We are all going to stay together and as a big group. So that is how we're going to be doing the personal photo walks this year. Next is dancer on deck. So dancers will be assigned to at least one on deck position each day. And these dancers will check in at the dancer room and be ready to go model if something happens and we need another dancer somewhere. If the dancer is not needed after 15 minutes, then they are free to leave the dancer room. New this year is Dance Mentors. Okay, we are very excited to introduce Dance Mentors this year into the Potida Photo family. Um, so dance mentors are going to be professionals in the dance field who have um, a passion for dancer safety, um, for helping dancers with modeling opportunities. Um, they're just going to be a guidance throughout the entire weekend. So just like Ms. Jessica was saying about the personal photo walk groups, dance mentors will be a part of that. So dance mentors are great people to go to um, if you have a question, if something, if any anything makes you feel uncomfortable, if you're feeling like you are having an injury, something like that, that's a, those are great people. They're part of our team um, to go to. They also are there to help with education all around. So maybe the photographers are trying to learn more about dance terminology and aren't quite sure how to get you into the right pose. Um, so that dance mentor can say,
say, okay, this looks great, but why don't you straighten your back leg more? So we're hoping that that means you'll like your picture even better. And the photographer will learn more about how to speak to dancers about their posing to get the best picture for them too. So, um, they will just be there to help. They'll be there to, for educational reasons and they'll truly really be there as a mentor. Um, we're hoping to have several people on our mentor team that have also been models as well. So we're hoping that they can share their experiences with you um, and help to enhance your experience a lot with the experiences that they've had. So next we're going to talk about the dancer schedule. So I said earlier that the schedule will be emailed to you within two weeks of the conference. So this schedule um, is, again, it is made with your safety in mind as well as the needs of our conference. Uh, they can change for a number of reasons from the two week point until the final. But once you receive that, um, that is your final schedule. Photo shoots outside of this schedule are just, are not allowed period, end of story. They're not allowed. I don't care who it is or what their request is, or if, a, if it's a presenter or an attendee or even Ron, I don't care. You cannot go. <laughs> you cannot go. It is not safe. We, it is not something we condone. Um, we take safety as our number one concern, and we want to know where you are at all times, and we want to know that your body is staying safe and that you're not gonna overexert yourself. You may look at your schedule and see that there's, oh, I only have four shoots that day. I'm here to tell you that that's a lot. And it may not feel like a lot. And the first shoot may not feel like a lot. And I know that everybody gets really excited and they want as many pictures as possible, but we wanna send you back to your studio or to your company, not injured at the end of the weekend. We have a lot of experience doing this. Our own students have gone. And I have to tell you that they stayed home from school for two to three days because they just, they were overly exhausted. They were overly tired um, because they kept saying yes to whenever somebody asks. So what we give you is your schedule for a reason and um, that's it, no more. <laughs> so this one's you. <laughs> okay, so um, we, like Ms. Jessica was just saying, the safety of all of the dancers is our very top priority. So um, that's why we have certain scheduling in place. And um, we have a big meeting um, at the beginning of the conference that you'll attend. Um, all dancers in order to participate in the weekend are required to attend. And we talk more even then about how the weekend is going to work and our safety policies, et cetera. Um, we have more policies regarding dress code and stuff that we're going to talk about a little bit later in our presentation. Um, and all of this is just for, to, for everybody to have a positive experience at the conference. Um, we have, as we mentioned before, um, all three of the creative directors sitting here have many certifications. Um, we are YPAD certified, which stands for Youth protection advocates of dance protection right yes um and we're all safe sport trained as well um dance and certified mental health dance educators and we're also idea members um which is the international dance education association um so the, the reason for us saying this is not at all to uh, brag or show off or anything but we want you to feel confident that our, that dancers and safety and mental health and wellness and positivity is our first priority. Um, we actually got many of these certifications just to run the studio that we run in Chicagoland. And we feel that we can bring these certifications and this knowledge to Potida Photo in a very positive way as well to help you guys. So um, we just wanted to outline how important all of these things are to us. And speaking of safety, so the schedule that you're given as a potted photo dancer indicates the only photo shoots that you should participate in. Dancers shooting with photographers that have not been scheduled by the potted photo staff will not be tolerated. The reason for this is to again ensure that all dancers are not overscheduled to a point of exhaustion or injury. 
By not following your schedule, you are putting another dancer in a position of overextending themselves. So we're a team. The dancers at Fadada are a team, as well as the photographers, and we got to all work together on this. And then dancers not following through with their schedule will not be accepted as a Fadada photo dancer in the future. And we reserve the right to dismiss dancers from the remainder of the conference. Sorry, I'm slow with that microphone. Mm -hmm. um, as part of our um, commitment to strong communication, we've added um, a safety reporting feature. Um, it's always been the case that right. in a photo, we've encouraged dancers to report to us if they ever feel uncomfortable in any way. And it has happened, I think really almost one or two times that we have had reports like that and we take them very seriously. We want you to have a positive experience. We want you to feel like um, coming to this conference is a great way to make friends, to try something new, to get some modeling experience, um, to do some dancing, but never to feel uncomfortable. So we encourage you, and we always have, to find a member of the leadership team, um, your creative directors, Ron or myself, who you can report that information to. Um, this might be, um, I'm sorry, the other way that you might make a report to us is through our website. If you go to padadaphoto.com under the about feature, there is an online reporting form. And at our information table at the conference, there will also be a way for you to report anything that you have a concern about. We appreciate your communication and want to hear from you. Entry prevention. Okay, injury prevention. So um, as dancers, we all know that it's it's easy to overexhaust our muscles, overstretch, overwork. Um, so a proper warm-up is always a really important part of a dancer's day. So we um, make sure to provide a warm-up as well as usually a cool down at the end of the day for all of our dancers. We highly encourage you to attend those warm-ups so that you can stay safe during the day. Um, obviously, during the day, you might have to re-warm up or re-stretch, and we want to make sure that all of our dancers are having time to do that um, and not just jump into photo shoots um, without being properly warmed up. If you cannot make it to a warm up class, we will have a designated dancer room at the conference and you're always welcome to go in there, even if something else is going on and go on the sides and warm up or stretch and use that room for that purpose. So the expectations of the conference for Potted a Photo Dancer is that you arrive early to all of your scheduled photo shoots. You are properly warmed up by either attending one of our classes or doing so yourself in the dancer room. Um, and it's to be respectful to all photographers, dancers, and staffs. This is for the dancers and this is for their parents or anybody holding an observer badge. Um, yelling or accusing or just being rude in any way is not tolerated for any reason. And you will simply just be asked to leave and we're just not even gonna talk about it because there, it's just unnecessary. There's no need for it. Um, and we're just all there to spread kindness and everybody there loves dance and loves photography. And so uh, spreading kindness and leaving negativity at home is just the way it's gonna be. So parent observer badges, all dancers that are under the age of 16 are required to have an adult purchase an observer badge to be present with them at the conference. Dancers ages 16 and over will have the option to, for an observer badge to be purchased. And observer badges are limited for two per dancer. And then only one parent observer badge is needed for parents with multiple dancers attending the conference. <clears throat> observer badge holders are, the on, are there to only observe and are required to attend the meeting following the dancer check-in in order to receive their badge. Okay, this is what a typical day at Potida Photo looks like. So like we mentioned before, there's always a morning warm up that we encourage you to attend. You'll have three to four scheduled shoots per day, which as we also mentioned, um, is 
very maximum capacity, especially when you're there for the entire weekend. Um, and then master classes throughout the weekend. Most of our master classes will be on Friday. Um, so look out for that. You'll have at least one on deck assignment. This is really important. Um, we use our on deck dancers all the time. Um, at both of the conferences we've had, we have really utilized those dancers and they've gotten some of their favorite shots. So that's a really great opportunity as well. Um, we have an optional lunch for purchase during the day and then always a fun evening event so that dancers can um, continue to build community between each other. So a dr the dress code for the conference um, is just appropriate. Um, just like you should be acting appropriately, you should be dressed appropriately. So clothing should cover all of your private areas um, and not be suggestive in nature. We really want your uh, your clothing choices and your dancewear choices to enhance the line of your body or enhance the photograph, not distract from it. Um, boudoir style clothing, shiny black leather dancewear that has excessive cutouts. You all know what I'm talking about. It's just um, not allowed. If your dad wouldn't be embarrassed looking at it, then it's a no. That's what I tell my students. Okay, wardrobe for the conference. This is one of our most frequently asked questions. Um, what do we bring for the conference? What should we wear? So we recommend bringing a variety of things. Um, I know that that's vague, but what do you want pictures of yourself in? Make sure you bring all of those things. Colored leotards, some black leotards. You want some dance wear, some costume items are fun. Street wear items are cool to take pictures in, especially if maybe if you're on a photo walk outside Remember, you'll be in different environments. Um, most photo shoots will not have requested attire. So we will not necessarily have a, B, C, we want to have a packing list for you. It's a lot up to you. Um, so that's why we recommend bringing options. However, if there is a request for something on your schedule, you will know that ahead of time so that you know exactly what to pack. If we have not emailed you that there's any requests, then it is up to you to bring your clothing choices. Um, changing rooms and changing tents will always be available for you to use um, so that you have safe and easy places to change in between your photos. Photo shoots. And new this year is our first ever gala. Thanks, Jessica. We're really excited to be having our Bright Lights Big City Gala this year. Um, part of elevating dance photography is finding ways, um, first of all, to dress up and celebrate together and ways to support dancers and photographers. And so this year, we are so excited to be using our Saturday night social event as a fundraising event for a Chicago nonprofit named Chicago Dancers United. Chicago Dancers United specifically um, supports the medical needs and health care of anyone working in the dance industry in Chicago. So the money we raise will help dancers who might need medical care for any reason and I think this is a great way for us to thank the dance community and support the dance community that means so much to all of the photographers attending. It will also be a lot of fun for everyone to get together. We're hoping to have dancing and celebrate together. There'll be a silent auction, a 50-50 raffle. I'm sure lots of photos being taken, some dancing, and uh, the dress code is semi-formal. We'll be sharing more information this spring about um, tickets for dancers and observer badge holders. Um, they'll be sold definitely at a discount and we hope that you guys will come and celebrate with us. This is me too. Okay, so we have some questions about the hotel. We are so excited to be hosting this event at the Hilton on Michigan Avenue. If you haven't been to Chicago, then I can only tell you that you are um, right downtown. We are overlooking 
two beautiful parks called Grant Park and Millennium Park that span several acres and lead right onto the steps of Lake Michigan. Um, and if you don't know Lake Michigan, it is a beautiful expanse of blue water um, that you can't see across. It's so large. So it's a beautiful, gorgeous site. And we'll be walking right out the front door to do photo shoots. And I want to encourage people um, to take advantage of our room, native, room rate of $199 a night um, that we shared when you were first accepted to the conference, because I think it will be a lot of fun for dancers to be staying together at the Hilton, sharing meals, running into each other, but it's also just very, very convenient. Um, if you haven't been to our conferences before, you may not know that we start early and end late. I believe sunrise is around 5.30 in the morning and at least two mornings of the conference, a group of photographers and some dancers will be heading out to get sunrise shots um, with gorgeous, beautiful light um, near Adler Planetarium where we can look over the lake and see Navy Pier and at Buckingham Fountain, which is an iconic Chicago location. So that's very early. Um, our social events may not end until 11 p.m., and there may even be some opportunities for older dancers to head out and do nighttime photography in groups. Um, our last photo walks of the day may even be um, after sunset. So with all of that in mind, I think it can be really beneficial to stay downtown, and I wanted to share that with people so they weren't disappointed to miss out. We do also want to let people know you can access downtown Chicago via O'Hare or Midway airports, and we recommend not bringing your own vehicle. Parking, um, to say the least, is not easy, and there will be um, valet charges at the hotel, and there won't be any need during the course of the conference to drive through the city, um, so it would be really great to use public transportation to get there if that's what you choose to do. Yes, and... Um... If you try to stay somewhere else, the public transportation cost for you getting back and forth is worth it to stay at the Hilton. Um, also, you want to make sure that you allow one to two hours of travel from the time you land until you need to be there. So if you land at three, it is not possible for you to do something in the city by four. Um, uh, it could take 30 minutes, but it could also take an hour and 30 minutes. And that's just something that, you know the charm of Chicago. So we want to thank everybody that like stayed on here. Um, thank everybody that's like watching this later. We hope that we covered everything. I know that there may be some additional questions that people have. Um, you can always email us uh, creative directors at pineapphoto.com. Um, I answer those emails twice a week. So don't be surprised if it's not every day. We do run around dance studio. Um, but we're really excited to have you guys, and I think it's going to be really fun to be in Chicago this summer. And if you've never been, it is beautiful. Everybody says the only reason they deal with Chicago winter is because of Chicago summers. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Um, if you do have questions, um, please do get in touch with us. We're always happy to answer those emails and help everyone out. We'll see you in Chicago. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you for coming.